All right, raise your hand if you have a junk drawer. Stuff closet? Crazy mail pile? Okay, now, are you willing to do something about it? Yeah, well, hopefully. People have been obsessing Obsessing. over organizing after watching the new special on Netflix. It's been trending for a couple of weeks now. Marie Kondo, you know, everybody's talking about it. She's all the rage there. You see her on your screen there. And uh, so we figured we'd, we'd try and do our own version of it here and bring in an expert That's right. to help you out. I did a little bit of this this weekend. Got rid of a bunch of stuff here. Glad but. you did. I did none of it. So <laughs> if you could stand to use a little bit of organizing, we actually tapped into one of our locals, and she is here with us today. And this looks so much better than what my, what my current situation at home looks like. So um, Kayleen Kelly. Yes. And it's Clarity with Kayleen Kelly. Yes, ma'am. All right, so can we get some clarity on, on this, um, on how we can tidy our homes, asking for a friend? Yes, absolutely. So what we have is I've broken down my method. Okay. All right. So I've You've got, got your own method. Marie Kondo's got her method. You've got your method. Yes. What do you call yours? Uh, CEO, because it allows you to take charge of your space. I love, I love it. it. I, I love it. All right. All right. <laughs> Go for it. So, so what, what, why do people have a hard time keeping tidy? What do you, what do you hear the most? It's a great question, and I get asked that a lot. And during my consultations, one of the main questions I ask is, have you experienced any life-changing events in the past two to five years? Okay. And the answer is yes. Okay. Yes, Moving. chronic illness, um, introduction of children, starting a family. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, okay. yeah. Changes things. Right. So life happens, and when you don't have systems to rely on, that's when things can get out of hand, and it's really challenging to stay organized. Yeah. Tell All me right. about it. So how do you start uh, without how do you start organizing without feeling overwhelmed? All right. Because that's, that's the hardest part. Yes, absolutely. So that's where the process comes in. And so CEO, you're going to categorize, eliminate, then outline and design. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I can remember this. Yes. Yeah, it's very digestible. All right, Thank so you. what are three things people need to know when getting organized? All right, the most important part of the process is decision making, and it doesn't have to be as difficult as you may think. Okay. So you're going to start with the easiest items to make a decision on, and then you're going to work your way up to the more challenging. Got it. Second is... Meaning like in the whole room, like you pick a room to start in, or do you... Yes. You always start with one room yeah. at a time, and then you break that room down, you're gonna categorize, and then you're gonna start making decisions with the most, okay. the easiest categories, then working your way up. That makes right. sense. Yes. And the second most important thing would be uh, stay don't. focused and don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> That's my problem. Because yes. I, start, I start four different things at once. Like right. I start this and I go, oh, tigers. That reminds <laughs> me of the stuffed animal I had up in the room. And then I go up to the room and grab the stuffed animals. Right. And then by the end of the day, he's like in his mascot uniform and he's doing nothing. Right. Yeah, nothing <laughs> has been accomplished at all. So, so stay focused. Really important to stay focused. All right. How, what are your, do you have any tips for how to do that? As far staying as like focused, how, like, staying she's focused. Not, she's not a psychologist. I know, I'm, just, I'm trying just, to get some personal help here. She's just trying to help you organize your... <laughs> really <laughs> your commit to the here. steps. Really commit to the process. And when you're on step one, focus on step one. Don't get ahead okay. of yourself. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. And so what about like, what should we be looking for, I guess? So like what type of products should we be looking for? That is a very popular question. I get it all the time, and my answer is the same every time. It's probably going to surprise you. Don't buy anything before you begin an organizing project. Oh my God, my bank account is going to love you yeah. so much. I know. I you're know. Just People adding, are always surprised. Because you're just adding more stuff to. Exactly. Your pile. Yeah. That once makes you sense. get past step two, you're going to be able to see what you have and know what you need. So try to reuse bins that you've cleared out during the process. And if you need to buy something, I recommend clear bins and keep your count very simple. Okay. One of the things, one of the things uh, in your uh, three things, you talk about being kind to yourself. Yes, that is the third step. Really be kind to yourself in this process. What my clients really struggle with is letting go of the shame and the guilt of not being organized in the first place. There is, as we all know, so much pressure to yeah. be perfect, and that's not real life. So if you've taken the steps to make a change, that's something to be proud of. Yeah. All right, real quick as we finish up here, what you have in front of you is how to organize a mail pile? Yes, the dreaded paperwork. So this is how I break it down into categories. When you have a huge stack of paperwork, I start with the newspapers and magazines. Got it. Then we move on to the mailers and coupons. Yep. This is what I call important paperwork. That's going to be your bills, the things that you really have to take a look at before you can make a decision. Yeah. You're not just going to throw them away. And then last is sentimental. That's going to be your Christmas cards, children's artwork. Yeah. So like I said, you follow the process. You start with the easiest and you and work, work your, your way, way down. Up. All right. Well, Kayleen, really, thank you so junk. much for the <laughs> this advice. Is junk.